So what I want to do in this video is take you through the isolation of the power circuit and we can see that we've got distribution board one, it's quite clearly labelled, which tells me this must be distribution board two. So I can look there, I can see that there's only one power circuit and before I do anything I can plug in my little test plug and make sure that I turn that on. I've got an LED lit up, tells me that that circuit is indeed energized so let's identify where it is and i can see tells me which it is i've got the socket circuit at this point you need to get permission so i ask permission i'm going to turn this circuit off so de-energize it then get my lock my label multi-lock if you want to use a multi-lock in this case i'm not going to because i know it's only myself goes into that my lock and my label go in and i secure them and the key goes into my pocket I haven't put any information on that for today, but if you were working down a corridor, you would put your contact details on that as well. So I can see that's gone off, but I've got to prove that this is in fact de-energized. So with my test instrument, yep, I can see that that's working and I can identify the three terminations. Also making sure that the socket itself is energized if that is in the off position, I'm not actually proving that this is de-energized. All I'm doing is proving that it's turned off. So it must be in the on position. So earth to neutral. That's fine. Earth to line. Again, that's fine. And neutral to line. No indicators, I'm happy with that. Go back and recheck my instrument. Yes, that's definitely fine. So I've now proven that I have isolated it. It's locked in the off position. I've got the key. It's quite safe to commence work on that. In the next video, I'll look at the lighting circuit and in doing a 